In the Book of Revelation, the two witnesses are two of God's prophets who are seen in a vision by John of Patmos, who appeared during the second woe recorded in Revelation 11 verses 1–14. They have been variously identified by theologians as two individuals, as two groups of people, or as two concepts. Dispensationalist Christians believe that the events described in the Book of Revelation will occur before and during the Second Coming of Christ, and they attempt to associate references in the Book of Revelation with historical or current happenings and people. <laughs> Biblical narrative John is told that the court of God's temple would be trampled on by the nations for 42 months. During that period for 1,260 days or 42 months, or three and a half years, two witnesses would be granted authority to prophesy. They are described as two olive trees and two lampstands who stand before the Lord of the earth. Both are able to devour their enemies with fire that flows out of their mouths. Also, they have power over the sky and waters and are able to strike the earth with plague. After their testimony, the beast overcomes the two witnesses and kills them. For three and a half days, the people of the earth celebrate the two witnesses' death who have tormented them for three and a half years and will not permit the witnesses a proper burial. After this time, God resurrects the two witnesses, their resurrection strikes fear on everyone witnessing their revival, and the two witnesses then ascend to heaven. In the next hour, a great earthquake occurs and kills 7,000 men, destroying a tenth of the city. Textual analysis According to the text, the two witnesses are symbolized as the two olive trees and the two lampstands that have the power to destroy their enemies, control the weather and cause plagues. Their description as two olive trees and two lampstands may be symbolism, allegory, or literal. Identity Topic. In attempting to interpret Revelation chapter 11, commentators who hold to a premillennial eschatology generally interpret the two witnesses in one of three ways, one as individuals either manifested in some form of reincarnation, or in the spirit of biblical prophets who once appeared in Bible history, or simply as two individuals newly arrived on the earth, two as corporate in nature human standing for the church only or for Israel only, or both Israel and the church, or for both Jewish and Gentiles believers in Jesus, or three as symbolism or an expression of biblical concepts i.e., the Old and New Testaments, the Law and the Prophets, mercy and grace. Literalist view The literalist typically has a dispensationalist or futurist interpretation that the two witnesses will be actual people who will appear in the last days. However, there are varying views as to the identity of the two witnesses. Early Christian writers such as Tertullian, Irenaeus, and Hippolytus of Rome, have concluded that the two witnesses would be Enoch and Elijah, prophets who did not die because God took them according to other biblical passages. Others have proposed Moses as one of the witnesses, for his ability to turn water into blood and the power to plague the earth. Modern theologians, such as John Walvoord, have furthered the point of individualism by comparing the two lampstands and the two olive trees of Revelation chapter 11 to the two golden pipes and two olive trees, branches of Zechariah chapter 4. By the identification of the two olive branches as two anointed ones or two sons of the oil. In Zechariah, this reinforces the literalist interpretation that the two witnesses are two people. The personification of the two witnesses in Revelation is so prevalent that according to theologian William Barclay, the passage seems to refer to definite persons. Walvoord further pointed out that because the Revelation passage does not specifically identify who the two witnesses are, it would be safer to conclude that they are not related to any previous historical character. Christian symbolism Topic The two witnesses have been interpreted as representing the church or a similar concept The 1599 Geneva Study Bible has asserted that the two witnesses are the exclusive purview of the church Matthew Henry 
S complete commentary on the whole Bible gives one church interpretation as consisting of believing Jews and that of the Gentiles. John Wesley in his commentary on Revelation chapter 11 suggests a more spiritual, almost ambiguous application. John Gill S. Exposition of the Bible interprets the two witnesses as the true Church in counter-distinction to the Antichrist system of Roman Catholicism. Ross Taylor's verse-by-verse -verse commentary on Revelation clearly defines the Church as the two olive trees and the two lampstands. Similarly, the two witnesses have been identified as Israel and the Christian Church. The number two has been associated with the witness of Israel to the Gentile nations during the 70th week of Daniel's prophecy. The olive tree in the scripture signifies Israel. The witness of the church is signified by the two lampstands, whose identity was disclosed by the seven golden lampstands, i.e., candlesticks, revealed in Revelation chapters 2 to 3 as the churches. Revelation chapter 2 verse 1 refers to the churches as golden lampstands. It has also been proposed that the two witnesses are the witnessing church because Jesus sent out his disciples two by two. Other views In the Seventh-day Adventist interpretation, Uriah Smith and Ellen G. White considered the two witnesses to be the Old and New Testaments. They believed that the French Revolution was the time when the two witnesses were killed. Other historicists consider the two witnesses also in this way. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints teaches that the two witnesses would be two prophets on a mission to the Jews in the modern nation of Israel, possibly two members of their Quorum of the Twelve or their First Presidency, who are considered to be prophets by the Church. Some members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints claim that Joseph Smith and his brother Hiram Smith, assistant president from 1841 to 1844, are the two witnesses in Revelation chapter 11. The testimony of the two witnesses website declares that Peter the Roman will be one of the two witnesses of the Book of Revelation. In popular culture the two witnesses play a central role in the supernatural drama television series Sleepy Hollow. The first witness is Ichabod Crane Tom Meissen, a Revolutionary War soldier who, after battling with the Horsemen of Death whom he causes to be headless, awakens in Sleepy Hollow in 2013. The second witness is Lieutenant Abby Mills Nicole Bahari, a contemporary woman in law enforcement who helps Crane adjust to the 21st century and aids him in battling demonic forces. The two witnesses must face seven tribulations, although other characters note that the witnesses are only required to witness the events rather than take action themselves, the first being Moloch, the master of the horsemen. The second tribulation is Pandora and her master, an ancient Sumerian god known as the Hidden One. Although Lieutenant Mills, now Agent Mills of the FBI, loses her soul, there must always be two witnesses, and the mantle passes on to Molly Thomas Una Yaffe on her eleventh birthday. Not long thereafter, Molly's older self, going by the name Lara Seychelle Gabriel, comes from the future to aid Crane in his battles, thereby assuming the mantle of the witness from her younger self. In the Left Behind franchise, the two witnesses prophesy at the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem. They are later revealed to be Elijah and Moses, and are killed by the Antichrist Nikolai Carpathia. See also Topic: Events of Revelation, Chapter 11, Great Tribulation, Prophecy of Seventy Weeks, 2,300-day prophecy, Day-Year Principle. Topic: Notes. Topic. Topic: References. Topic. Hitchcock, Mark. 1999. The Complete Book of Bible Prophecy. Wheaton, Ill: Tyndale House Publishers. ISBN 9780842318310. Barclay, William. 2004. The Revelation of John, Third Ed. Fully Rev. and Updated. Ed. Louisville, Kentucky: Westminster John Knox Press. ISBN 978-0-664-22680-0
Walvoord, John Every Prophecy of the Bible. Colorado Springs, Colorado: Chariot Victor Pub. ISBN 978-1-56476-758-5.